Storms could occur this afternoon across parts of the region. Here to talk about the risks of the storms is meteorologist Ricky Matthews. Yeah, we already saw a few storms. We could see a few more as we go through the rest of the afternoon. The main concern with these is going to be some gusty winds. And let's talk about how these gusty winds occur in these showers and storms. Most of the time they're due to microbursts or downbursts. So let's grow a few trees here onto our set and bring in our thunderstorm. And you'll notice as we look at this thunderstorm, this big anvil thunderstorm, we see an area in the middle sometimes where we have a bit of dry air. That's where we have some mid-level dry air. And what happens is as the air rises, it then cools, something we call evaporative cooling. As air cools, it becomes more dense. That denser air is held up by the thunderstorm until it's not. And when that air becomes just way too heavy, it crashes out of the thunderstorm, falls down to the surface, and as a result, you get those strong gusty winds that can knock over the trees and even down some power lines or other things that may just get blown around in the wind. That's the main concern with these microbursts. Now, oftentimes we are able to look at radar, look aloft in the storm to see if we can pick up those cores going up into the storms first before they develop and hopefully issue a severe thunderstorm warning. We've already seen a few severe thunderstorm warnings earlier today, Don, and we may see a few more as the evening progresses. Yeah, I mean, we've st certainly had some action over the peninsula uh, as well. Things are quieting down uh, just a tad. Uh, you can see things on the James River Bridge. This has been very, a very 